And we're here today with Tim McDermott, Chief Marketing Officer of the Philadelphia Eagles. Tim, thanks for uh, coming in and spending some time me. with us today and speaking Appreciate at the Wharton Sports Innovation Conference later today. Um, you're also involved with uh, with the Wharton School um, in working with, an Eagles on, with the Eagles on a student-focused project. Uh, we're working uh, uh, to, to try to help the Eagles uh, in a number of different ways. So, um, heady times in uh, the National Football League. Um, you're, we, it's somewhere we haven't been uh, in a generation. Uh, with labor uh, issues. Um, can you talk about, as the chief marketing officer, um, how you manage uh, the external situation uh, with both the fans, um, the uh, your sponsors, uh, and other partners, um, as well as any other stakeholders who might be involved? Sure. Um, you know, I think the, the biggest thing we've been trying to do is be uh, very uh, much communicative, communicative with our fan base. Um, yeah, that's that's probably the biggest thing I could point to is making sure that we are constantly uh, in contact with them uh, to the extent that we can. And so what we've done is every time there's been an announcement, every time there's been a milestone, we've ensured that we've put out something in a communication, in an email uh, to our fan base. And, you know, most of these communications have come directly from uh, either our owner or our president. So, you know, from the highest uh, parts of the organization and uh, really pushing out communication to them. Um, and we've done that with our fans, we've done that with sponsors, uh, we've done that with media partners. Um, so I think that's been well received, uh, appreciated, appreciated by uh, this constituents, um, and we'll continue to do so. Um, so in Philadelphia, the Philadelphia Eagles are certainly a dominant uh, local brand. Uh, it's, it's for quite some time uh, been an Eagles town. Um, can you talk about the challenges of being the CMO uh, when you are on the king of the mountain? <laughs> well, when you are, uh, I appreciate sorry, you, you saying I'm sorry, a, uh, Can you talk about being the CMO when you are the king of the mountain locally? Uh, sure. Um, you know, look, we you know we take the approach that uh, you know we're for, very fortunate to be where we are. First of all, uh, that's not something we take lightly, and we don't take it for granted. Uh, and we know that uh, you know uh, when you know. Uh, bad times come, so to speak, you know, things can always change. So we are always trying to be proactive, always trying to be innovative in the things that we do and um, continue to stay at the top of the mountain. Um, sometimes it's actually harder, I think, to stay at the top of the mountain than it is to just to get to the top of the mountain. So, um, you know, we're always looking at things across the entire spectrum of the company of ways that we can better uh, the organization, whether it be things we're doing for our fan base, things we're doing for our, um, our, our partners, um, things that we're doing in terms of innovation around the stadium, stadium improvements. Um, so it's it is a challenge. There's no doubt about it. Um, and uh, you know I think when you're when you're in that position, you know there's uh, a lot of you know, you know people looking at you and seeing you know what are you doing and are you um, you know making sure that you're always treating your your uh, constituents in a, an appropriate manner. So um, it is a big challenge for us. And I think the biggest thing that we continue to do is to innovate. So where do you see innovation occurring, and how do you innovate? Um, you know, I think the biggest thing that, that we've got going right now is around the digital space. Um, you know, whether that be uh, through social media or whether it be through technology inside the stadium, outside the stadium, um, I really think that that's you know kind of the next frontier for us as a as a uh, as an industry. Um, you know, different teams are looking at a variety of different applications, um, tools, technologies, uh, and and that's really where I think this next wave uh, will come from. Um, as um, a Philly guy, someone who grew up here, um, Ivy League football player at Cornell, uh, holder of an, an MBA from Harvard Business School, um, can you talk a little bit about um, the valuing of the MBA degree uh, within uh, professional football organizations and um, you know, w what kind of skill sets you're looking for uh, in, in applicants? Sure. Um, you know, uh, I, I can't say enough about getting uh, an advanced degree, particularly an MBA. Uh, my experience was phenomenal, uh, exceeded my expectations, um, and I was probably a little non-traditional as somebody who had started in the sports industry, uh, had spent, I guess, about four years in the sports industry, and then removed myself to get a, an MBA and go full-time. And, uh, and I can tell you, my, within the first six months when I was at uh, business school, I, I looked around the room and I said, you know what, every one of these people could have done my job because they had these amazing frameworks from uh, different institutions, you know, the Goldman Sachs's and McKinsey's, um, that I wasn't exposed to. And, uh, and I felt that uh, the MBA was kind of the first step in getting me ready and understanding how all the different disciplines really intersect with one another. Um, so now, fast forward, 
um, you know, I, I definitely look for people who've got that, that training. Um, and it's been something that I've looked at as I've hired people. Um, and, uh, you know, I just think the, um, uh, the skill sets that uh, you get, that you receive, that you're exposed to, the people, um, it's amazing, I think, the, the whole overall MBA you know, experience. Great. Tim, thank you so much for coming in and spending the time with us today. Appreciate it. Uh, we look forward to continue working together forward and deepen the relationship between the Wharton School uh, and the Philadelphia Eagles. It's great. Thank you.